No stain on my jacket. What is crack a lacking? Crack a lacking? Who, who says that? I don't. I already regret what I just said. I don't know why this intro is so awkward. Mr. Sandman, let me wake up. Oh. I'm awkward. Okay. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? It's me. Ashley E, thank you for joining me today on this lovely Friday. I'm gonna do what any other female YouTuber does, and that is a monthly favorites. In this video, I'm going to be doing all the things that I love in October and that I used almost every single day. I don't know my ratio of how many men, how many women watch my channel, so I'm going to do all the beauty and the girly things last, and the kind of others first. Let's get into it. First things first, I'm going to show you some food, nutrition, and supplements that I've been using. Number one is the Ostrom Stick. If you have not had this, they are amazing. I'm not a fan of jerky or anything like that, but these are amazing. I know there's other flavors like original, an original. Um, I only get the teriyaki flavor, so I really don't know what other flavors there are out there, but I know there's others, because there's always like a big stack of them. But I got mine at GNC. I am pretty sure you can get them at Super Supplements. Um, I think you can even go to like a grocery store like Safeway, Fred Meyers. They also sell them. I would eat one in front of you, but I got a little carried away. So yeah, Ashram Sticks. Moving on to One Up Nutrition Whey Protein. Um, I'm not a fan of protein at all. I think they are nasty. I've been trying them since like 2013, 2012, and I could not find the ones that I like. Um, they leave me bloated and they just taste disgusting. But I went on a whim and I purchased the One Up Nutrition Whey Protein. This one is the coconut ice cream. And boy, let me tell you, so good, so, so good. I for real will have a protein shake almost every single night. And if you watched my last video, I actually used this to make one of the recipes. And if you have not watched that video, pause this one, go watch that one, and then come back to this one. But 1UP Nutrition Coconut Ice Cream, bomb.com. Some cool things that I've been using. A little obsession, I might say, but if you do know me, I have a million water bottles, and I'm not exaggerating. It took me a car load when I moved for just water bottles, blender bottles, Starbucks cups, mugs, I don't know, I don't know why. But my all-time favorite is the Yeti cup. They're so amazing. I wish I could buy every single one, but I'm gonna be so honest with you. These things cost you an arm, a leg, and probably your kidneys because they're so freaking expensive. But I will admit, you are getting your money's worth. Something cold in here, they say cold, 24 hours. Something hot, they say hot. In the mornings, I don't like drinking my coffee right away. I like to start feeling sluggish and then I drink my coffee. And when I get to it, it's still freaking hot. Like, come on now, like, let's be real. But they're not like magic cups where you can put in lukewarm water and expect it to be cold when you drink it. It don't work like that. You need to put something cold in it for it to be cold and something hot for it to stay hot. But Yeti cups, man, they're the bomb. They're worth it. Get them, Yeti cups. My all-time favorite thing is Adidas NMD. I am obsessed. They are the most comfortable shoes ever. They're so lightweight and they're breathable and everything and they're so freaky popular. I have baby size feet so to get a hold of NMDs in my size is impossible impossible so these ones were gifted to me and I know they cost a lot and I'm not lying they are expensive in these ones but whenever I go to the mall I go to every single shoe new 
shoe store in the mall to ask them if they have NMDs in my size. And they'll be like ugly colored NMDs, but I'll ask anyways because I want to know. But it's so embarrassing that my mom has to go into the store and I stand at the front and I watch her go ask one of the employees whether they have mine and I immediately walk out because I already know the answer is a no. So these ones were online and they're just so... Ugh. Moving on to the female product. So if you are a gentleman, you are more than welcome to X out of this. I don't mind. My feelings aren't hurt and I will not be salty because I know y'all don't want to see this stuff. But for all you women that are watching my channel, I am by far a girly girl in any way, shape or form. As you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie. But I don't wear any makeup at all so when I do wear makeup which is when I film or take pictures because I like my face to be an even tone other than that I don't I just can't do it because I don't like getting ready I wake up whirl out change and I'm boom done that's how I roll because I don't wear makeup and I do not do my hair and it's not because I don't know I just don't know how like I don't know how to do my hair I don't know how to wear makeup my hair is so freaking thick that if you curl it Literally 10 minutes later, it's done. Like, you can, it's just flat. There's nothing you can do about it. So, when I am trying to be a girl, I use these hula little things from Benefit. I think this is a bronzer. And this says it's a bronzer too. But in all honesty, I have no idea what this is or what it does. I just put it on my face because the lady told me to. So, I bought this one as a bronzer. It's Hula from Benefit, and it comes with like this brush in it. And as you can see that I've used it so much that it's to the end. So the lady was like, oh, if you love this one so much, then you might as well get this one. She basically upsold me, and I'm a sucker, and I freaking bought it. So this one is the Hula Light by Benefit, and it's a light bronzer. And I put this one all over my face, same thing. But yeah, girly things. And the other last girl thing is this Essence Strobing Highlighter Stick Cream to Powder Effect. I bought this from Fred Meyers and I'm pretty sure it costed me, it cost like three or two dollars. And it looks like this and I just bloop, bloop, pat it in and I'm done. <laughs> Still don't know what I'm doing or what it really does, but it looked cool and why not? Moving on to the more women stuff, girly things, is hair products. I shower at night most of the time and I let my hair hair dry and I just tie it in a braid and then wake up in the morning and let it all out. And I use this Chi Silk Hydration and I put this on my hands and put it all over my hair and then boom, done. Two minutes and then I'm done. Chi's expensive, I know. So I buy mine from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, they have them too. A little bit cheaper, but still expensive. That's why I don't like being a girl. And then I use this. I am not even gonna pronounce this because I'm gonna butcher it. And I don't wanna embarrass myself any more than I already am. But it's an anti-freeze hydrating oil by whatever that says. This time of the year, it's not summer that makes my scalp dry, but it's like this transition from like fall, it's fall, that makes my scalp dry. And to be all honest, I can go almost a week without washing my hair. I don't do it, but I can. And so to keep my hair a little bit more lively, um, I like to put in this oil on my scalp and on the ends. If you have oily hair in general, I do not recommend you get this, because this legit, is oil like you are putting oil into your hair so oily skin or oily hair people do not get if you have dry hair get if you don't have to go every single day with washing hair get stuff's good If you like what you just saw, give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and if you are not on my post notifications, get to it. I mean, why not? I only post once a week, so it's not like I'm bombarding you anyways. Maybe. Not quite yet. But, like I said, give this video a thumbs up. 
and I'll see y'all in the next one. It's snowing. It's November 3rd and it's snowing. Why? Why? I disguise myself.